Thraxcom 2. Is it worth a buy? Let's read the words, the words of Thraxis, my favourite developer. Mac, XCOM 2 is the sequel to the award-winning strategy game XCOM Enemy Unknown. Twenty years have passed since humanity lost their war against the alien invaders and a new world order now exists on Earth. After years of lurking in the shadows, XCOM forces must rise and eliminate the alien occupation. So XCOM 2 guys, uh, I've never played any of the X. well that's not true, I played UFO Enemy Unknown back 20 years ago for about 20 minutes and I didn't like it. Um, but as far as um, XCOM goes, I haven't played any of them, this is my first game of it really, uh, which showed when I did a stream on Friday and got absolutely my ass handed to me I think in the tutorial, which was quite funny. Uh, so yeah, it's... It's got a bit of a learning curve, but after two hours or so, you kind of know exactly what you're doing. Um, I've put about 10 hours into it so far, and I'm actually going to restart the entire game after this worth of buys finished, because I've made a lot of mistakes just by learning the hard way, and uh, I've sort of gimped myself a bit, and I'm loving the game so much that I'm actually going to restart the entire thing from the beginning and play it again. It's really good fun. I mean, I'm playing it on Veteran. Uh, which is what I would recommend for anybody who's even never played this before. The game doesn't recommend Veteran because it says it's for people who have played XCOM before, but trust me, you don't want to be on anything lower than... I mean, put it this way, I'm maxing out the missions on 100% completed. Um, I've only hit one on 90%, I think it was, and I've only lost a couple of guys. But I am seeing that it's a lot harder now, but most of that's because of my own stupidity with not knowing what I was doing when I was... Um, researching stuff so onto the game how does it play well you are in charge of this big kind of spaceship uh, i'm not going to post spoilers or anything in this i'm going to be very careful what footage i show you outside of the combat as well so i don't want to give anything away but basically you have to put rooms in the spaceship and each room has a really good function such as it allows you to research and upgrade and expand what you have now it's very deep at the research and you have to be careful where you put your rooms as I found out which is why I'm starting it again uh, top tip don't put the workshop on the top row get it down in the middle so it can affect all the rooms around it but yeah anyway you can figure that the rest out for yourself so you're the resistance you're fighting against the aliens and you have this big ship and you have to put all these rooms in this ship you research and it all costs money and time and time is critical in this game you have to decide where best to spend your time days fly past so fast but research can take weeks and months so you have to assign the right people to the right job to unlock the stuff that you want it's best if you have a bit of a plan in mind of, of what kind of weapons you're after what kind of utilities you're after because everything matters on the battlefield and you research all this stuff and upgrade all this stuff to give your men a fighting chance when you send them into a, a combat situation and there are lots of combat situations in this game because as the resistance the earth is pretty much defeated and the aliens are ruling it um, they also have a faction of humans who are kind of brainwashed fighting for them so it's it's pretty desperate the situation and you go around that's the story you go around the map finding pockets of resistance and um, connecting all the resistance together and and slowly trying to take back earth and it's a really good story. There's lots of different types of missions as well in it as well. Infiltration missions, capture missions, assassination missions, rescue missions. It's it's really kind of the stuff you would expect if this was a reality uh, and aliens had done this. It's, it's really nice the way they've set it. And I love the whole idea that you can choose your missions. You're not railroaded into them. You can take your mothership anywhere you want and do whatever you feel is best. You are the commander and I love that, that, that aspect of the game. Coming back to the research, I'm loving the research because there is so much to research, much more than I ever thought in this in this game. And some of the weapons are just insane. I mean, you get some pretty hefty weapons early on in this game. Uh, but you can also research uh, genetic things. I mean, for example, if you do autopsies on captured uh, aliens alive or dead, you can unlock a whole load, a load of stuff. You can get uh, mind shields, for example, that block your men's minds from being taken over on the battlefield because there's some nasty fucking aliens, let me tell you. There's some real evil ones that panic you and grab you and throw you and just 
I'll go into them in a minute. It, it's just insane. I, I was not prepared for what was on the battlefield, guys. So when you do take on an op, you can only take four guys with you. And it's crucial that you take a right good mix. You maybe need a sharpshooter, a grenade, a heavy weapons guy. You're going to need a medic. One of my favourites is... Um, the guy with a katana, he has a shotgun and a sword, and he's very stealthy if you um, level him up right. And I'll come into the leveling up in a minute. And he can run around the battlefield, keeping in cover and slicing and dicing people. He's great. But once you get down onto a, a planet where, well, planet that's Earth, once you get down to a section of Earth, you don't know where the enemy are. You're kind of blinded. You, it's all fog of war. You don't know where shit is. And so you kind of need to get straight into cover. And the cover system's quite good in this because. You, you get like a little representation on your screen in the form of a shield it tells you how much cover you're in and you have to take this into account because the enemy can do the same so if you're shooting at someone who's in cover you're not going to maybe do as much damage um, and this is where the RNG comes in when you do actually get into combat with the enemy depending on the, the cover that they're in and camouflage and shielding and all that it will give a percentage of chances of hitting him. And when you hit him, hit him, it'll then tell you how much damage you will do. You can see how many bars. It's all done with little bars. So if he has six health and you fire a weapon at him that has four, that can do four damage, um, he'll have two health left at the end if you actually do hit him. But the damage is not set like that. The damage is kind of like you might do two to four damage or four to six damage. So there's RNG a lot. So you, it's not as clear cut when you're in a combat situation. And this is what makes the game good in my opinion because you'll get a situation where one of your men might be uh, being crushed by this reptilian snake thing and you've got a guy right next to it who can shoot but you've got another guy who can shoot as well but there's another alien over there as well and you thinking shit who do i shoot first will this guy take down that alien in one shot because if he does then i can use this guy to shoot that one and you have to make these decisions all the time and if it goes wrong you can lose men so fast and it's very stressful in that sense because the guys that you have on the battlefield are probably guys you've made yourself you've named yourself you've changed their nationality wrote their bio give them a name i mean i'm using my uh, subscribers uh in in my uh as my crew we've got kevin mcbin man he's not really a bin man it's just a kind of an in joke he's the guy that actually gifted me the game i've got elanda del butler because he sounds like a butler i've got mesh in, i've got me in. i've got loads of other guys in you know i've got xss frenchy we we all are in there and when they die you kind of think oh no oh no he's dead you have such a kind of you know you've made these guys you've leveled them up and they die and it's awful so you've got to kind of look after them so yeah you're very careful on the battlefield but the problem is with the battlefield that what the devs have done they've added these fucking timers and what that means is you might start a mission and the mission timer at the top will say you have 12 moves until you have to get off the mission area 12 moves guys 12 that means 12 turns so when when you move all four of your guys in the end turn that's one of them turns over you've got 11 left bullshit some only give you eight it's bullshit it ruins the game guys it fucking does because what you're doing there is you're constantly watching that and having to push forward all the time you might think oh right this is perfect this map i'm gonna flank to the left with him flank to the right with him i'm gonna put my sharpshooter on that three-story building and i'm gonna have me little kind of katana guy stealthing through the the front end of the mission and we're gonna set a trap for the enemy to come you can't do any of that you don't have fucking time because the time is going chicken chicken and it's it's so what you do is you think right guys just go forward where do we have to get to gotta to get to there come on push forward push forward chicken, chicken, chicken. sorry sorry you died but we have to keep pushing forward fucking hell timer bell's gone again it was almost fixed guys it's it's kind of poor but maybe if i just tap it no, that's it. it does ruin it for me i mean yes you can still set ambushes and do uh things but not very often and certainly not more than once or twice in a map and that's the problem you see because i, I love the maps i love the whole way the maps are set out and they kind of over too fast because you know when you only have eight turns you you know you've spent all this time researching you get down you've got eight f***ing turns and you've pissed off it's i want more fun i want more aliens to shoot you know it's it's kind of ruined it for me so what i did was i downloaded a timer disabler from the workshop because it's got full workshop integration this which is great and 
oh wow what a difference it made i played a mission that took an hour and i took my time on the map had a great time so much more fun i mean literally miles more fun i played the same mission with timers and, and then played it without and it was just amazingly good the balls up with the timers i mean I, 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 I mean make the game harder another way uh but you know timers really no doesn't doesn't work for me at all but if you don't like it you can disable it with this mod it doesn't disable it in the the main missions but all the side missions it does which is which is great because you do shitloads of side missions um anyway on to another thing that pissed me off the pathfinding of your guys what you have to be careful of in this game is noise because aliens are alerted to noise so you have to be careful the aliens remember don't even know you're there you are in concealment as you're going around it unless you shoot them or make a noise or straight into their line of vision field of vision you will stay concealed which is important because you need to set up your ambush situation so you can imagine how pissed off you are when you say to one of your guy right you you there just go from this place here into that building there there's a door right in front of you go through the door so instead of running to the building and going through the door like a normal person no 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 you know what he does guys he dives head first through the fucking window Head first, guys, straight through the window, smashing the glass everywhere. Every fucking alien within a hundred yards is like, what the fuck? And you've immediately alerted them to the presence and they'll start coming over. It's bullshit. It's absolute. I could understand if there was no door, but when there's a door there, please use it. The stupid. Absolutely stupid. The tutorial doesn't tell you that you can actually control them with waypoints by holding down control. Um, I, I got told that off a guy on, on my uh, video. So that was very handy um, and that's the best way to move because if you leave it to the AI it'll just send them to crashing through bloody windows just so they can show you the nice cut scene of it F off oh, bell poor bell go, go over there I'll not ring you anymore this oh. ow F sorry just wrapped me knuckles on the desk that's done uh, right what was I saying yeah the pathfinding shit um, each guy as well worth bearing in mind only has two moves per go which i like i like that i don't know if it's been in any of the other enemy unknown ones but in this one uh you only have two moves and if you use a fire move that automatically ends your turn so even if on turn one you attack you will end your turn after that um you have to be very very careful because everything uses up a turn you know reloading your gun that's a turn gone scratching your ass turn gone pick your nose turn gone You've got to be careful what you do with your hands in this game so strategy planning ahead absolutely crucial there are a few bugs in this game unfortunately clipping bugs where you fire at or get shot at through buildings it's happened to me a couple of times and you thought how the hell did you even see me uh so there's a few of them bugs like that sometimes people vanish uh so i've had a few different things going on so on to some bigger bugs and that's the aliens the enemy they are nasty. Uh, some of them are shapeshifters. They will appear. There was a mission where I was actually rescuing people, and one of the fuckers I was trying to rescue, this innocent girl, turned into a big fucking monster right in front of us. It was awful. And you got to watch for stuff like that. You've also got to watch for these like um, mind controlling ones. They will send your men into a panic. You can have a guy who's in a great place, maybe he's a sniper in cover, and then all of a sudden this alien makes him shit himself and he just jumps out of cover going ah i gotta get out this is wrong this is wrong i'm gonna get out of here and you think it's stay there stay down you prick stay down and he's running straight into the enemy fire and they just warm down and you're like oh no well he was french after all so that's why i panicked so you've got to be careful you've got to be careful there's also some really nasty snake things that drag you across the battlefield and crush you they're like pythons and anacondas and they are nasty things there's also big armored things there's all kinds of stuff guys there's all kinds of stuff that looks like the jadoon from doctor who there's all kinds of stuff in the game and it makes it really great fun because you don't know what you're going to get when you land uh, to do a mission and you have to have your wits about you and i've never had a bad battle yet i've even the ones that where i've been pushed on the timer it's all still been fun but so much more fun without the timer so it's a great game it's got a bit of a learning curve but after a couple of hours you get to grips with what you're doing and if you're into turn-based strategy games you're going to love this because it's one of the best i've played it's got a real in-depth crafting system really in-depth research i love the fact that you were in control of everything um there's no kind of 
thing pushing you saying you will have to unlock this now you have to have that you can tell the ladies to f off and you can just research what you want you can do whatever missions you want you can just sit in your spaceship and play f***ing chess if you want you don't just let the earth burn you can do whatever you want and i like that yeah you're given that full control so there you go guys xcom 2 despite the bugs and despite the silly little timer it's still a great game and it is definitely worth a buy why are you in the bell there i don't know i don't know that, uh, the bell worked nicely. That was a clean. Might just end the video.